completed life away. Well, let's meet him. Please welcome 90 year old Tommy. You wonder why I get so mad with yeah, you? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know why because I don't you're see. so lazy. You look, you're yeah, lost I'm not. I'm not at all. Yes, you are. Oh, so who's yeah, the laziest? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Him. Yes, you are. You're the laziest. You don't get out of bed till about half three. Yeah, you'll get out of bed about half past three in the afternoon, right? Yeah, maybe he gets up before you. Yeah, yeah, but well, what, 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 what do you do when you get up? No. You stop in your bedroom, you come downstairs, that's my tweet. Oh, but what else you tied you up? No, I do. You, no, you don't. I do. What? No, you don't. You, I do. you, you don't. Excuse me. She said, "What else is there to do? Work." Yeah, I've tried to get in the job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a job interview not long ago. Sorry. I had a job interview not long ago. Did Made it to last five, but I didn't get it. Right. Um, well, I'm still, I'm still trying to. So you think he's lazier than you? Are. Are. Yeah, pardon. You're not trying no since. So what, Thomas? He's got a bad eye. You've got. St- Shoulder, yeah, right? but I've tried you it. You don't do notes. You don't do notes without. You always have a few things in Oh, I can't do notes on my yeah, shoulder. Yeah, I've just done recently, but... So you play football, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, Thomas, you go out and play football. You do football shares. Yeah, I know I do, but... But, so you but, can't do yeah. nothing else? Why? Oh, I'll just over it up for your mum. I'll do washing for your mum. No, but you put your own washing in. Mm, do your own washing. Make your own full... Oh, do you want to eat? Oh, make your mum. No, Thomas. If I try doing one thing or another, I still get moaned at. Either way, yeah. I get moaned at. Yeah, because you've got to do it wrong. right to moan at you. I know you have, but I'm saying you can't do right for doing wrong. Well, if you've got off your back of bed, it's in the morning, and go and got a job. Uh, and to try. Have I tried getting a job more than him? How many job interviews has he had since in the past two years? No, you have no idea. But what I'm saying is you're 19 year old yeah, and sleeping your life away. What else is it to do? So either get a job or just do Go to college. You said you're going to go back to college. Yeah. I'm not going back to college. I am going to go back to do psychology, but... To do psychology? Yeah. Do you know what it is, Tushy Right? He's so intelligent. He's really intelligent. He did a year. He went to sixth form, did a year for psychology, and he went for second year. Yeah. Well, why, why did you drop out? Six form. Yeah. The... That's his ex-skills. Can't well, be bothered. I... Can't... <sighs> I've got a brilliant way you can make some more money. Chuck him out, he's 19. Yeah, rent the, bedroom, yeah. the bedroom, rent the bedroom out. You should see stay at his bedroom. Oh, well, make it's him decorate it before he goes. Get a grip, not that bad. It you could be see, worse. You can't see the floor. Yeah, you can. No, you can't. So you're telling me you can't see the floor no, in my room? No, you can't, because there's clothes all over it. Like, clothes, clothes in a chair? A week's worth of pots in your bedroom, and you can't find a cup looking yeah. Thomas's bedroom, and you'll find it. One. So it's what are you going... Uh, let's box. come back to you. Let's come back to you, Mel. Um, it doesn't sound like Peter's going to change much. He doesn't feel he's going to. It sounds no, like... I will get a job when my eyes better. Yeah, right. Yeah. I will? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. It's not that, though, Patricia, right? It's, it'd be nice. She said, well, come on, Mel, we'll go out for that night. Oh. Yeah, but you're saying there's no money Yeah, that's what I mean. It'd be nice for him just to, like, get a job and respect yourself, basically. Do you respect him as a man in the house? Honestly? No. No, I don't. I canna. I canna when I've worked for the last seven years. And he's not done no. How can you respect someone that's like Thomas? How can you respect anybody that don't want to do no, that soon stay in bed all day, sleep their life away, and then wake up in the third and think, what the f- I done with my life? Do you know what I mean? It's. So how do you feel hearing that, Tommy? It's true. Yeah, it's it right. true. How do you feel about it? I don't know, really. Do you smoke a lot of wacky backy as well? Pardon? Yeah. Do I smoke a lot? Yeah, yeah. No, not as much as you do your stuff. So the answer is yes. Yeah, I do smoke it, but yeah, not as much. Yeah, you smoke it, Tisha, right? Yeah. But it's like... I don't smoke it as much as not I used to, not all. as much as him. I mean, Thomas... So, are you saying... Uh, <laughs> let's have a look at this. It's hardly motivating either of you, is it's it? It's like mirror image. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, it he, he's 33 years old. Well. He's yeah, but you know what? I tell you what, I've got a bit of a problem with that, because I, I, both of you, I've got a bit of a problem with that. What if I don't want to spend my money on your wacky-backy? Because you are living off me. You say chilled out. You get any more chilled out, you will be frozen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Pete's pretty laid back. Lay back, he's unconscious. I'm going to say if he lays back any more, he'll be off the floor. He he's unconscious yeah. in bed and all. He is. There's not there, I mean, there's, there's, it's like having, living with a friend rather than a partner. Do you know what I mean? It's so, like... Mel, why are you putting up with this? I'm an idiot. But really, why are you putting up with this? You know, 
whenever we have guests on the show, what I do, you know, we go through everything that our guests have told us, and I really do try and see both sides of it. And I just said to my producer before I came out here, I have got a big problem with this part because I am totally biased. In fact, I don't think I've been this biased in years and years and years of meeting guests because Mel, the way Peter presented it, the problem is with your temper. Now, our producer said, we can understand it. I have to say this, I'm 100% on your side, woman. But along the way, I lose my temper. I mean, it's... I wonder why you put up with it. Because you talk about them not respecting themselves. Every day you put up with this, you are disrespecting yourself. Yeah. Um, Mel, if you, if you want an answer to this seriously, it's going to be tough. But I would get an eviction notice on... Uh, on no, seriously. Yeah, yeah I'd get an eviction notice and the council has to rehouse him. He'll go to the bottom of the list as a young, able-bodied person. He'll get the shock of his life, but you're saying you want him to stand on his own two feet. Force him into standing on his own two feet. And the same thing is with, with Peter. Instead of taking him back, taking him back, give him an ultimatum. We can give you a whole list of contacts where you can get some work, but while you're smoking wacky-backy, you're not going to be a reliable worker. And people are going to call you names and say things about you because you're going to be a little bit knocked off because you smoke so much. Worky baggy. Yeah, but I don't get into that sort of state because I'm used to smoking it. <laughs> well, then what am, I looking with my, what am I looking at right now? <laughs> Do you wonder why you might be so laid back? Lack of motivation. And where does lack of motivation Cannabis. come? Cannabis. Sorry? Cannabis. Thank you. <laughs> with this man, think about it, in love with him. I love him. Are you in love with him? I don't know. Would you love him more if he was really making an effort and work? Probably so, yeah, probably would. It's just that... Are you just so used to having him around? Yeah. It's like an habit, isn't it? It's like a drug. Yeah, well, he's got to kick his habit, maybe you've got to kick yours. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Out of the three of you, the person that I think I want to work with most, or have our counsellors work with, is you, Mel, because you hold the key. Because when you really lay down the law, instead of losing your temper, and your daughters have seen you lose your temper as well, and your daughters are going to be learning that men are lazy good-for-nothings. Yeah, and they're probably... Yeah. So, well, they'll probably end up with lazy good-for-nothings, yeah. but there's some men out there who want to earn a crust and want to pull their weight, whatever. As for problems with your eyes and what have you, there are plenty of people who are blind, who've got all sorts of various disabilities, who are just out there working like everybody else. They don't see it as a disability. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's excuses so far. So, Mel, if we work with you, um, I reckon I'd better send you off on your own. Yeah? yeah? You are a strong woman, but maybe you're being a bit too strong. You have to get tough in another way. Yeah. Yeah, good luck. I'll send you through that door. I'll send you through that door.